Hello, as the title says, this is my first video, so we'll get things started with this. There you go. Drill off the too much right lightens. In attack mode, any effect damage you take from a card, your opponent takes instead. When in defense mode, well, you take no battle damage, so it's good if you've got to read that first hand. And straight off the bat, it's my favourite Metronic. It's free. Self ice. Simple card, dice throw when it's in attack mode. Pick up that number of cards, any Metronic you can special summon straight to the field. A great way to build your field up in the first hand. And in defence mode, pretty much roll again, roll your dice. You see the same number of cards and you just get a look at them. Really, so that's a good one, especially to get tuners in that outfit. And then I run two boredoms. In attack mode. <sighs> when in attack mode, you can attack directly. When in defense mode, well, your other Matronics cannot be destroyed. So if you get one of these and Matronic Magnum out, or just two of these, then nothing can be destroyed if Matronic wise. Then following from that, two Matronic Magnums. In attack mode, they have to attack the highest monster. In defense mode, this is the only monster you are allowed to attack. Level 3, so it's quite good for two of them. And then the main card, or the next main card besides self on is three Radions. Very tricky little card. When in attack mode, all Matronics gain 800, so having two of these out is very good. In defense mode, all Matronics have gain 1000. So when these guys are fade down and flipped up, their abilities do work. So from 900 defense to 1900, so it's a very tricky card to decide on. Next up is two Slingons. This works very well if you do a self fire combo. If you roll a dice and get this guy out, you get rid of self fire, use his ability and destroy an opponent's card. That's the main reason. Level 4, right for Tomb of Light Matronic Sculpting, as I'll show you later. Next up will be Matronic Unboxing. Then one of the best monsters when you've got Radio on it. So it's 12 attack, 4 defense. You can attack twice in a turn, and it gets 1 attack when it's in defense mode. It's a pretty good card. Then up to now, two recordings. And it's pretty good. They're a great way to bring monsters back from the grave or your deck. And um, and pretty much, um, when you remove a card from your graveyard from the game, you can add a monster to your deck. That's the same level as that monster. And when it's in defense mode, and pretty much from there, there, um, when it's in defense mode, you send a card from your hand to the grave. To be a monster back the same level from your grave back to your hand. So if you've got Lighten and you want self eye back, that's a good way of bringing it back. The best tuner I reckon though for this deck, honestly, would be Matronic Sculpin. When summoned, special summon a level 4 monster straight from your hand. <coughs> and when it's in defense mode, it goes up to a level 4. So if you get through self eye, you've got an instant level 5 there if you want. Or you can do a level 7 synchro if you've got enough level 4. Which is pretty handy in most cases. Now we're going to the magic cards. Straight off the bat, for a very simple reason, three double tool CMDs. Of course, power tool cards combo, but also can work on any level form of tribe. The monster that it destroys is effect is negated, and that monster gains 1000 points. So that's very handy. Next up, two United We Stands for the self high combo, and any other combinations you wish to come up with. Gain 800 for every monster on the field, so at least having one of these on the field would really do some good. I would run three, but I've only got two, it's two Matronic Servants. Pretty much almost costs you nothing to use. All you have to do is show your opponent one Matronic, return it to your deck, destroy one card on their field, and you draw a card, so no cards whatsoever. So it's a really good card. Next up, I've only got one Mage Power in this deck, 500 for every Mage and Trap card. And because this can go through a lot of cards quickly, I draw Avarice. Bring five monsters back, draw two cards, very handy. So trap cards, I run two Wobbacoos, monsters cannot be destroyed in battle, and you take no battle damage. Very handy if you've got self on, you get a dead draw. Then, I do two Matronic Barriers. <sighs> when a Matronic's friend can be destroyed, or any more Matronics, it's, um, <sighs> pretty much it negates the card, then destroys it, and then you get to add a Matronic of any level you want to your hand straight away. So that's a good way of saving them from like dark and light and vortex and such. Majority barrier. Majority just can get through this, but level four and higher monsters can't. So as long as you have a Matri out, this will work. But if you don't have one it'll kind of shut down. So 
It's a 50 50 card, it's good, but not good. Then we got Power Break. Only works when Power to Dragons on the field. You can choose it from your field or graveyard. It'll, you choose up to three quick ones from your field or grave. Add them to your deck, your opponent takes 500 for each one. So it can be pretty painful to your opponent. Like with Intervention, focus up your opponent and allows you to use defense mode abilities easier, like Boom Boxing, Radio on if your opponent's got a problem with it. Then, of course, some of the basics Bottomless Trap Hole, Catapotion, and Divine Ref. Just standard, really, just what you would run. That for Catapotion, that for many, Need for Stardust, for Stardust, anything like that might try and destroy. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then I'll just synchronize. These are the main ones I would say you'd need. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Level 7, so scoping and any level 4. Get this guy straight out. Ability can special summon enough monster. Destroy a field spell, you gain a thousand. So quite handy if your opponent's in its own field spell. It. And so another level 7, Black Rose Dragon. In this deck, you wouldn't be able to use its first ability, so the main reason would be its self destruct or chest for power. And then, I'll do two Power Tool Dragons. You can do three, but it works with two. two. So, do the, use the ability to pick three random, pick three equipment cards. Your opponent picks one at random, and then you can just instantly equip it. So, three double tool CDs, and you've instantly got a very strong Power Tool Dragon. Now, I'll run this card because I really like it, and it's a Matrite card. And I chose to add my stream dragon. You know, most people say it's not a good card to run, but I run it. Yeah, because it's just one of my favourite cards you can get. So, yeah. Pretty much your life will go up to 4,000. It's got 2 9 attack, 2 4 defence. It's a synchro tuner, but doesn't come in much handy at this time. And then the final monster I would recommend you having would be Stardust Dragon. Pretty much negate the effects of a card Destroy cards and such. And level 8, 25 attack, 20 defense. It's a good monster. And with that, thank you and hopefully do better on my next video.